Hello everyone to another Katan video. So I am in the first position and I see that there is decent amount of ore wheat and sheep on this board. Very little wood but um, and a okay amount of brick. I like the 8510 spot especially because it is so close to the wheat port. Uh, yeah, the ore on the six tile is difficult because there is no good pairing along with it. Uh, six five eleven seems decent. Overall, I still believe I believe uh, yeah even five nine ten isn't the worst option here, especially because there is so little wood and brick. But I believe going for <clears throat> Going for 693 is the best option here and I'll point downwards. I can go towards either the ore port or the brick port. I like 693 over 692 just because I get a little brick uh, on the 3 tile. I don't think I'll be able to get any more brick when it comes back to me. Here red has a pretty difficult decision uh, but I think red can go for something like 6511, 8510, 9510. Yeah, so yeah, because I mean it's <clears throat> red here has quite a few choices and that's why it's a difficult decision. It does go for 8, 5, 10. Points to the right. Uh, I don't think that is the right move here. Yeah, I think pink over here can get something like 8, 3, 4 and uh, the 6 tile. Yeah, so I think pink here will get something like 6, 5, 12 and 8, 3, 4 and be in a very, very strong position. Have a very strong ore wheat cheap game. And should be able to get the wheat port as well as the sheep port. So yeah, pink surely seems to be a threat with their setup. And as expected, the road placement by red uh, is already cut off here. So surely that was a big mistake. I would have liked if green would have placed on 6511 rather than 6113. But now green places on 5109 and gets all five resources. So here I have a I have a few options here. I can go for 5, 4, 11 or the other option is 9, 4, 11 and uh, 9, 10, 11. If I go for 9, 10, 11, I can point to the left and then try building on the uh, try building on 5, 4, 11 afterwards. But at this point, I think the other way around makes more sense, especially because I start with a wheat and sorry, a sheep and an ore. So if I roll a nine, I will be able to get a dev card early on. Instead, I roll an eight. Um, not much for me to think about. I'll just end my turn here. And at this point, I don't mind red getting the ore port, especially because they don't have any ore. Uh, so it will be difficult for red to use the port effectively.
Yeah, so Pink here has a very easy game, I believe. Uh, their game plan is also pretty straightforward. Build on the sheep port and on the wheat port. If possible, get on the 3 to 1 port as well. And then they can just get all the dev cards that they want. I won't be making any cheap trades with pink, especially after the game yesterday, I realized my mistake. Offering early one-to-one -one, uh, trades to a strong player can be a problem. At this point, I don't think I have much to do. Uh, I'll just get a dev card and end my turn. Yeah, seems like red is having some connectivity issues. Uh, their uh, counter keeps on refreshing or resetting the timer, not the counter. Yeah, just as I said, again, their counter gets reset. So, yeah, as expected, red is easily able to get on the on the ore port, increase their sheep production, but at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'll still offer a 2 is to 1. Uh, getting a 1 is to 1 trade with pink isn't uh, too great. Yeah, I don't mind this 2 is to 1 either. And I do roll a 7. So at this point, I can steal from red uh, trying to get an wood but i believe stealing from pink is still the right move they are still too strong i get a wheat um so this is not a resource where i can do much i might just have to end my turn with seven cards in hand Yeah, it seems like green isn't responding to any trades. Yeah, so I, as expected, I'll just end my turn with the cards I have in hand. Uh, 7 cards is not favorable but that's how it is sometimes. I would want to build on the brick port as well as on the 9, 10, 11 uh, spot. I believe 9, 10, 11 is a very strong spot on this game, on this board. Uh, 6 rolls, luckily the 6 ore is blocked. Another six rolls, uh, that's pretty good for me. Here on my turn, I will be playing the knight and stealing from green. I get a sheep, unfortunately. I would have liked to get a ore. Uh, I do roll an 11, so I will be able to get the ore that I am looking for. I can go for three dev cards, um, but let me try getting an ore for a sheep. If this trade goes through, I'll be able to get a dev card and a city.
Okay. Green accepts that trade. I don't mind that at all. I will go for a dev card and a city. And I get a year of plenty. That's pretty good for me. Uh, that basically means I can get uh, the wood that I do not produce. If a three rolls, I might be able to get a brick for wheat trade. Instead, an eight rolls, uh, not much that I can do. Yeah, I do not have any wood to offer. I do roll a 7, so that's pretty good. Uh, red has to lose 5 of their cards. And, and now I think I will target red. I do get a sheep, uh, not what I was looking for at all. So at this point, I'll just end my turn. A nine rolls that's pretty good for me. That gives me two sheeps. Oh, sorry, two wheat. And a five gives a sheep to each and every person on board. Unfortunately, a four rolls uh, and it is blocked. I would have liked to not be blocked here, but that's how it is sometimes. Here, I think I can just play my year of plenty and get two ores and get two dev cards. Um, getting two dev cards using the year of plenty isn't the bad choice yeah, i do get two knights uh, so i'll be able to unblock myself So now I would be looking for wood trades here. Luckily the rolls have been pretty even this game. Not sure why green is taking this much time. Maybe they are waiting for somebody to respond to a trade. Yeah, seems like green might just. Oh, so yeah, the timer got reset. I. Not sure if this is a connectivity issue on my end or on other players end. But I did notice that pink and green did, tra uh, did trade a uh, brick for wheat, I believe. 
Yeah, a brick for wheat trade. <clears throat> Another nine rolls here. Uh, let's see what. Yeah, so now pink after getting that city, pink is in a very strong position. So I will continue blocking pink here. I do get a brick, which is a very rare resource for pink. And I roll an 11. So let's see if I can get a wood. If I get a wood, I'll be able to build a road and. Uh, yeah, seems like none of my trades are going through. So in that case, I'll just get a single dev card. I get another knight, which is pretty good. I will be able to get the largest army soon. And I believe I might just have to end my turn with seven cards in hand. A little unfortunate, but that's how it is. So I do know that pink has a wood and a, a sheep in hand. Green did not play a knight, so probably both their dev cards, they don't have any knights. So six rolls here. Yeah, I will try getting some trade for a word. I believe pink might be willing to offer a trade of of some kind. Seems like none of these trades are going through. I can play my knight. Uh, but I believe I can just get. Yeah, because I'm getting only knights, I think uh, I can go for. Yeah, I think at this point I just have to play it. I have way too many knights in hand. I do get a sheep, uh, so I can get another dev card here. Finally, I do get a victory point. I could have also built a road. Uh, Instead of doing a forest to one for ore, uh, I could have done a forest to one for wood and built a road towards the 9, 10, 11 tile or towards the uh, brick port. But I am a little scared uh, that green might have road building and can cut me off here. Yeah, so the timer resets again. So this is very uh, surprising because uh, green did not play the, play the knight in the previous turn and when the six was blocked, I think they just forgot about it. Now a six does roll. 
I will be able to play another knight on my turn. And I will steal from green. I get a brick. Not what I was looking for, but on the contrary, I am able to get two ores as well. Let's see if I can get a trade for sheep. I wouldn't mind giving up an ore for it either. Yeah, I think I might just accept this trade. Although I know it's a little expensive, but... Uh, so I've been pretty unfortunate with these dev cards. Getting so many knights isn't the best thing. So I do know that out of the 11 cards, there are at least two more victory points. Uh, the road buildings haven't been played yet and neither has any monopoly been played. So I surely have to keep that in mind that getting more dev cards now will be a very strong thing. Because the cards that we will be getting are also pretty good now. So yeah, now green has started building towards the 9, 10, 11 tile. So certainly I will be blocking green. Twelve rolls here, so pink has two woods. I wouldn't mind offering it for a break. Yeah, if I continue blocking six, it will be very difficult for green and pink to get their cities. So that's a benefit of blocking the six there. At this point, I'll just end my turn on this turn. Uh, cannot do much. Red should be able to get a settlement on the wood port now. Red goes for a dev card. That's surprising. So green is offering a ore and basically that means that Basically, that means they have an ore and uh, two bricks. So does play the Monopoly. So a year of plenty and a monopoly has been played. I don't think so they will be able to get a settlement yet. So they end their turn there. There are six rolls. So I will be able to get a city if I want.
I wouldn't mind rolling a seven here. Instead, I roll an eight. Uh, so not much that I can do on my turn. I'll just get a city and end my turn. A seven rolls. So pretty sure the nine uh, wheat or the six ore will be blocked. Yeah, so nine wheat gets blocked. So yeah, I think green will be able to get the 9, 10, 11 tile here because I believe uh, red might be willing to get an get the ore trade from green and then yeah and green already played a monopoly eh? so they have wood in hand. Yeah, seems like they are offering everything. For a word for a wheat and sheep, they get that trade, so they get the settlement on the 9, 10, 11. So now green is in a pretty strong position as well. I do not like the trade that red accepted here, but um, that's completely fine, especially because red is quite far behind in. Uh, in development. I still continue block have to continue blocking a uh, green. So at this point, I think I will do a four to one and build a road towards the brick port. A 12 rolls that gives three votes to uh, pink another six that's pretty good especially because the six has been blocked almost throughout the game I will accept a two is to two here because I can get the longest road if I just connect my two settlements So yeah, at this point, I think I will just, I can offer something like this. I was, uh, I thought red might accept it. Surely not doing a one is to one at this point. Sorry, not doing a two is to one at this point. I wouldn't mind doing a one is to one. Yeah, seems like pink is not accepting that trade. So in that case, I'll just get the longest road here. So now getting a settlement or a victory point will just give me a victory. Obviously, uh, both red and green might try connecting the longest road here or building a longer road here. The timer keeps on resetting again and again, so not sure what's wrong with the game. So 
red is able to get a city so that's pretty good for red i believe uh, the wood for brick trade will go on here green might just ask for a couple of bricks and build a longer road for now I'm yeah, not sure why green did such a expensive trade I'm not sure if it is just to get a city yeah it was just to get a city now with that 8 ping gets a settlement and another dev card here I'll just be playing my knight to unblock myself I do steal from ping but uh, that's because I don't have any other option and a 5 rolls there so that's pretty lucky for me because that is exactly the card I was looking for so I can just do a 4 is to 1 and get my settlement and win the game here so pretty strong game for me Yeah, I was very lucky with the six rolls, uh, with the with the with these sixes, especially because green and pink were blocked on the six almost throughout the game. I believe red and green were a little unlucky because ten didn't roll much at all. Uh, also fives and nines early on did help me quite a lot. I was able to get early dev cards and get so many knights. Uh, yeah I think I played like 7 nights yeah I played 7 nights that game yeah, and only 2 victory points uh, so green and I both had a single victory point there so out of the 9 cards left there are 2 road buildings uh, a monopoly a year of plenty and 3, dev, uh, three victory points so yeah the cards that were left behind in the in the dev card pile are pretty strong but in any case i think uh, green did make a mistake they played monopoly on wood and did not get a lot out of it uh, but i was completely okay with that because it didn't affect me at all um, yeah overall pretty strong game for me and let's see the elo board So I'm at 547 now, pretty decent uh, and hopefully I can continue my uh, wins. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video.